Hey guys, welcome back to Raver's Mead. I am just wandering off down the field right now. I am on my way to get Woody in uh, because I need to ride him. And that's the wrong head collar. What am I doing? Pop you guys down a sec. Um, yeah, I need to ride him and I need to bath him once I finally figure out what the heck I've done here <laughs> and get the right head colour. There we go, that's his head colour. Um, yeah, so, uh, I'm taking Woody to dressage tomorrow. We took him to dressage a couple of weeks ago actually. Hey sweet boy! Um, and he freaked out a little bit, it was his first time out in a couple of years and he can get a bit anxious when we go out places. Thank you boy. Huh? You get a bit nervous, don't you? Yeah, you do. You get nervous, you silly boy. Don't you? But you're brilliant. Once you get over your nerves, you're brilliant. Yeah, so we're going to dressage tomorrow. We're actually doing the same test that we did a couple of weeks ago, which is prelim 14. It's unaffiliated dressage. So I want to get him in, school him. I'm actually going to wash his feathers properly this time um, because we want to... Uh, we basically want to puff up his feathers as if we were going to a showing show because we actually have a couple of shows, showing shows coming up in the next month and we want to make sure that we still remember what we're doing with regards to turnout so because he's only going to dressage tomorrow and it's not quite such a big deal for turnout we decided that this would be a good opportunity to have a feather poofing test run so he's going to be my crash test dummy um, so yeah, I'm going to get him in, give to his feathers probably hey where are you going oh okay clearly woody's not in the mood for having his feathers washed come back you monkey yeah but i'm gonna give his feathers a wash give his mane and his tail a wash and then i'm gonna school him and then we're gonna do the feather poofing and then i'm gonna clean my tack and get ready for tomorrow hey where are you going let's catch this beast before he runs away again come here you have a bath. You don't have to have a body bath. He doesn't have to have his body bathed. I actually clipped him not long ago, probably about a week or so ago now I guess. Go on. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I clipped him completely because he was just a hot sweaty mess. I'm actually planning on clipping blue later on this afternoon and he's just had a bath to get all of the dust and rubbish out of his hair ready for clipping. But yeah, Woody is starkers, aren't you sir? Completely clipped out. Come on. Come on. You're not eager, are you? You know what's coming. You heard the bath word. Come on. Let's go. Don't fall over the poles. I know you and you will fall over them, won't you? Yeah. going to school him first but I think I might wash his legs first. Should we wash your feathers first? What do you reckon? Should we wash your legs and ride you? Then they should be dry enough to do the wood flower then shouldn't they? Yeah? What do you reckon? Is that a good plan? Is that a good plan? You don't want to go to dressage tomorrow do you? You're going to be a knob aren't you? Mm-hmm. Please be a good boy. Please be a good boy. I know you can do it. 
be skitty already. It's not a good sign. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna wash his legs and other stuff first, and then we'll school him, and then to the feather poofing. Top tip: easiest way to wash a horse's feather: put their foot in a bucket of water. Uh, but make sure it's like a rubber bucket, not one of those plastic buckets, otherwise they'll put their foot straight through it, especially if they have shoes on. Yeah, I'm going to go grab some water. And he is snorting like a dinosaur, so that's not a good sign. a good start. <laughs> oh Woody, is that going to be your big freak out of the weekend? Are you going to be good now? Huh? You funny beast. Yeah, there you go. So, I'm not going to bore you with, you know, recording the entire washing process. I've done similar videos to that before. Um, so yeah, I am going to crack on with this and skip ahead to somewhere later in the video.
electrocuted doing that. Why don't you turn it off? Okay, feather poofing. Um, this is super, super easy to do, by the way. All you want is some wood flour, um, preferably with some chalk mixed in with it, or you can buy the two separately and mix them together. We have got one that is pre-mixed. It's from Supreme Products. This has literally lasted us for years. I can't even remember when I bought this. It was the first one I ever bought. Um, yeah, I am gonna chuck a load of that in this bucket and I'm going to do exactly the same thing as I did when I was washing him. I'm going to put his foot in the bucket and I'm going to spread that wood flower all up through his feathers. And it's going to look horrendous to start with, um, but when I get him out of a stable in the morning, his feathers will look amazing. Um, and I will show you guys, so let's do that now. find somewhere to put you guys where you can see what's going on but if he decides to fidget he's not going to knock the camera flying um let's try here that looks okay um and yeah let's hope he doesn't fidget Now the trick with this is, you want to do it while the feathers are still damp, so if you are bathing and then, well, basically if you want to do this the day of the show, which we quite often do, you want to take like a spray bottle of water with you so you can dampen the feathers before you put this on, but it's going to look best if you do it the night before if you can, and then maybe just give it a touch up the day of the show. But I might do an in-depth video in that one day, we'll see. But for today, it's just a quickie as part of this vlog. Um, but yeah, there you go. That is looking pretty nasty. But tomorrow morning, it's going to be awesome. I'm going to get it right up in there as well. Cover all the feather around the back. to knock your microphone off while you're doing it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. One day I might get good at this and not keep breaking my stuff. And my camera is... Well, it looks like it's been snowed on. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, I'm going to pop you guys back over at safe distance and do the rest of his legs. And then I'm going to do something with his mane. <laughs>
you okay, dude? You're so good, aren't you? You're so good. Break my camera again. Right oh. That's you done, Mr. Woodster. Should we chuck you back out in the field? I haven't got anything horrible on my hand. Come here. He thinks I'm trying to put sun cream on. I got nothing horrible. Honest. Nothing horrible. Should we put you back out in the field? Come on. You're done for the day. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, that's the worst bit done. The horse is clean, pretty much. Cleaner than he was last time I took him out anyway, so that's a good thing. Um, all I've got to do in the morning is brush his mane and tail again, braid his mane up, uh, give his feathers a good poofing, and his body is probably just going to want a quick brush over. Come on! Can I do this one handed? Hey, hang on! You've got to stand still! I can do it one-handed and then throw it on the floor. Good boy. Well done. Well, those feathers do look white already. You're looking very smart, sir. Right. Time to go give my tack a quick clean. And then... That's been pretty much ready for tomorrow, actually. That's alarming. I'm never this organised. What's going on? I feel like I'm forgetting something. I haven't looked at my dressage test, actually. Um, like, at all, since the last time I did it, which was like two, three weeks ago. So, I should probably take a look at that and make sure that's in my head. But other than that, I think we're pretty much ready to go. So, I won't bore you with any more tack cleaning guys. I am going to cut this one off here and I will see you tomorrow for dressage. Bye!